I feel so soft. Is this your body weight here? Or right here? I just feel like I don't even feel like talking about it right now. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Like my thoughts are moving too fast. Y'all ever feel like that sometimes? Bad blood. Bad blood. You were a holiday, a glass of ocean slipping down. My throat and landed on my hopes I'm dreaming Off the maps, no hidden grids I'm fleeing And I worship you like holy days Lying on my back, seeing clouds arise Drinking lime and bitter from a lemonade White horses, merry time won't do Unsung. And I feel that you remember Dreaming of a past that couldn't last But now we're changing Refraining Oh, I think that is the No, that is the I think that is the bad Bad, but I think that is the No, that is the not to remember fly away counting days i'm hiding from you oh i think that is the no that is the i think that is the bad bad but i think that is the no that is the For the rain not to fall, exposing the soil on you, I lose. Don't tell me I'm cool, cool, I know, and it's right we were close, oh, I choose. But my head's now afloat, and my heart's drowning both of you, I lose. Don't tell me I'm cool.
show tonight Baby, won't you meet me by the beam? Early, baby, lady, you can show me things You know what it is whenever I visit In the city, blowing me kisses, no 30 degrees, way too cold, so hold me tight Girl, I see you at the show tonight Girl, I see you at the show tonight Greetings my kindreds, welcome back to another vlog. Today is a brand new day. This is what, day number three, possibly? But today is my birthday, it's the last day of May, it's May 31st, Team Gemini, woo And um, yeah, like, I didn't have anything planned this year for my birthday, but um, on Monday, like Monday morning, kind of like Sunday night, Monday morning, I was like, you know what, let me just like throw together like a cute birthday dinner or something, so. The restaurant that I did choose is literally right down the street, which I feel like is convenient for everyone because everyone lives in the area. But they're not open Mondays or Tuesdays. And they open today at 7 o'clock at night. So I have to call them hoping that we can all fit um, reservations wise. It's Wednesday, so hopefully that shouldn't be a problem. I think there might be like 12 or 13 of us. But I'm about to go get my nails done right now. And then I'm gonna run and like find me a cake. And I'm gonna go to Party City and get me some balloons and a candle. And then I'm gonna come back and try to do like a cute like Instagram post. <laughs> something, something cute, you know? So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and my Uber is here already. Tell them to be right there. Yeah, my Uber's here already. So I'm about to go and um, get my claws done. I feel like I literally just got my nails done. If it wasn't my birthday, I would have like made these stretch another week and a half or so. But it's my birthday and I gotta like step into the summer. Right. <laughs> so it was jumping a little bit, but my phone died, so. Okay, so I just made it home. I went and got my nails done, guys, and that literally took three hours out of my day. I just feel like, I don't even feel like talking about it right now, so I don't wanna like mess up my mood, but after I got my nails done, I went to go to, I went to um, Party City to go get me a balloon. I got me a 2 a balloon, cause your girl is 28. And then I stopped by Publix just to get me a cake. Yeah, I stopped by Publix just to get me like a nice little chocolate cheesecake. And um, well, I also got some candles from Party City as well. So I wanna try to do my like Instagram happy birthday. I also got me a bottle of El Prosecco. Something chill, something slight. So I'm about to like set that up in the corner and then I'm gonna do my hair and makeup and then we're gonna get dressed. My package came, so I'm really happy about that because like I said, I didn't plan anything before. And so on Monday, I had like gone on Fashion Nova, mind you, it's a holiday on Monday. And I was like, let me just find like a couple dresses so that way I can have options because I don't, I didn't have anything that I could possibly wear today. So I was a little nervous because it said that it was supposed to be here yesterday. And then when it got processed, it said that it was going to be here today. And I'm like, the day of my birthday, oh my God, that's like pushing it. But it came, I got a notification. So all my stuff came. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set up everything over there in the corner so I can do my content and then before I do my content I'm gonna do my hair and makeup. I'm excited. Um, it's literally my birthday. And then while I'm doing my hair and makeup I need to call and actually make reservations because the restaurant that I wanted us to go to originally they weren't open Monday or Tuesday and they open up today at 7 o'clock and it's currently 6 57 so I had to literally wait till 7 o'clock to call and make reservations. But fortunately I, I think I invited like 20 people um, only 12 are attending, which is including me, so 
that's not like a huge party so i think we should be fine but now i'm kind of like going back and forth between my first option and then the second one that i just found out about because i like the second one because their portions of food is bigger mm -hmm. but i'm not gonna call them and see like what do i have but yeah this is my little chocolate cake to where work work am i going to work yeah no it's my birthday i'm going to a dinner
said in the past three weeks, which feels like an extremely long time. Three weeks definitely feels like three months, and that's just not a good feeling. You know, life, sorry guys, life, lifed, and it, I'm just not in the best space, but that is okay. All have those moments and those days and those phases in our lives it just sucks because you know I had my mindset on you know being consistent getting back in the gym you know doing my readings I've been listening to you know good music and just trying to be on the right track and figuring out my purpose and um, just understanding me and figuring out my goals and making plans and things of that nature. But for these past couple of weeks, I have been hit left and right. You know, I've been allowing myself to get distracted and I've been overwhelmed. But, you know, we gotta keep on trucking because that's what life is all about. We gotta keep on trucking. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I guess I can just catch you guys up on like what's been going on these past couple of weeks, kind of sort of. I'm not gonna tell you guys everything, but I can catch you guys up. So in the beginning of the vlog, you notice that I put references on like my healing process. You guys know that I have had surgery um, recently, and my I'm in the end stage of my healing process. Um, the stitches are out. The swelling has went down as much as it could, and oh, actually the swelling has went completely down. Um, there is obviously still some exterior imperfections <laughs> and that is okay because it could definitely be worse it just is what it is and that's just something that I'm gonna have to take care of um, later on down the line but not right now because we just have like bigger fish to fry um, more important things to take care of but yeah there's still some imperfections but you know, ultimately, I am satisfied. The infection is gone. It's just I have a buildup of scar tissue there that we're just going to have to worry about later. But, yeah, so, yay. Um, I don't have that pain anymore. I can eat normally. I still have, like, some popping going on with my jaw when I eat, but I can handle that. I can handle that. And then... Um, Early in the vlog as well, you guys, I put emphasis on um, me going on a date. I went on a date. And <laughs> um, I learned a lot about myself. I noticed that I learned a lot about myself. You know, the type of woman that I am, the type of woman that I aspire to be, um, my likes, my dislikes. You know, I take moments like those to really, I, I take moments like those as a learning opportunity know learn more about myself and yeah so that didn't go anywhere which is perfectly fine but you can just tell when someone is just not your person you know it kind of just gave me kind of deja vu of like how my previous relationship went when we were younger you know things were moving pretty fast and it felt like you know only though we've only known each other for two weeks it felt like it felt like I was in a situation where we've known each other for like two months and that was just a little unsettling for me you know I don't want that I, I really I don't want that I know that I don't want that I want something that is going to take time to build it's gonna take time for us to connect you know I don't want to see someone every day I don't even I don't want to see someone every day I personally think that two times a week is enough time to see someone you know at least in the beginning I have a life you have a life I don't want things to feel like it's forced or is moving too fast or like we have an agenda like I guess I don't want that so um yeah and it was just like other little things that kind of threw me off about you can just tell when someone's just not your person and mind you i don't really have anything bad to say about this guy he 
is very nice, very respectful, you know, um, and fine. Oh my God, he was a boy. He was a, he was a fine young man. You know what I'm saying? As the, as, as our grandmothers and mothers would say, he was a fine young man. But you can just tell when someone is just not your person. And that's okay. And that's okay. And I also, <laughs> there was this one time, there was this one time he had invited himself over. And I keep saying invited himself over because he had hit me up one day and asked me, like, if I wanted breakfast. And I told him no. I was in, you know, I didn't want breakfast. I was in the middle of editing my vlog. And um, he was like, okay, well, I'm about to go get breakfast because he, uh, he trains. So he was like, I'm about to go get breakfast. Um, you know, I'll call you after da -da -da. Okay, cool. And then he ended up calling me back like a few minutes later and was like, hey, uh, actually, I'm going to the beauty spot store. I gotta get some stuff. Da -da -da -da. Do you need anything? I'm like, oh, he's just trying to find any reason to see me because he know damn well I'm gonna say, yes, I need some stuff from the beauty spot store. I needed some color. I needed, like, yeah. So I was like, yeah, actually, I do need some things from the beauty spot store. Thank you. So he went to the beauty spot store you know, and got the things that I needed. And, you know, he said he's going to come by and bring me, you know, my stuff. And I'm thinking he's just going to drop my stuff off. He knows that I'm editing. He knows that I'm like, kind of like in my zone. No, this man calls. He's like, hey, can you register my car? I'm downstairs. I'm like, register your car? Like, boy, I just seen you yesterday and the before yesterday. What do you mean register your car? What? Did you even eat yet? So, <laughs> no shade. But he ends up coming upstairs and he has his bag. He has my bag from the beach spot store, and then he has his breakfast. He did his breakfast takeout. He did takeout. I was like, oh, I thought you were dining in. He was like, no, I decided to take out. I'm just going to eat here. Huh? You didn't ask me. That was, I was like, you didn't ask me, okay? But anyways, but yeah, that was besides the point. So it was this one time where I was putting um, something together in my apartment, like a furniture piece and I was doing it by myself perfectly really fine. I was reading the directions, I was putting it together, like I was just doing the thing. And then, you know, he's like, Hey, you know, you want help? Like I can help you. And I'm like, Yeah, sure. You know, he's like, no, move, you know, I'll do it, you know. Move, I'll do it. And I'm like, okay, well you do it then. And um I <laughs> this is so minor, but I don't know. So, anyways, he was doing it, but he wasn't doing it right. I'm like, how? It just blows my mind how, like, the instructions could be right there and you not follow them. Why do you still have questions? Why are you asking me, where did I leave off? Why are you asking me how to do something? Like, the directions are right there. And just read and do it. Like, <laughs> why do I have to, I might as well just do it myself. If I have to stand there and um, shadow you or stand there and and assist, like, why, I don't, why, why, I could, because I could, I could literally do it myself. So, anyways, is this, what did he want, like a team building project? Like, I just, I just, I just was not in the mood for that, like. If, no, I don't need a team building project. If if you can't do it yourself, I can do it myself. Like, it's perfectly fine. But yeah, that was kind of irritating to me because, well, I found, I found, I, I okay. <laughs> Basically, he had did something and I had advised him to do it a different way. And his way didn't work. So, I can't remember exactly what I said, but I remember in the tone in which I said it. And I was basically like... That's why you should have just did it the way I told you to do it. And I, even though that doesn't sound, I don't think that sounds horrible, but to me, and in that moment, it sounds horrible. Like I had to stop myself because I had like a flashback of like me talking to my ex. And, and I felt like, and I felt like I don't, I don't want to be that, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to, feel like I have to take charge and 
direct and because I feel like as a woman if that's the case then you naturally get this bossy bitchy attitude because and kind of like I don't know I felt like I was talking down on him in that very moment even though I it took me like four seconds to say that sentence but in that moment I was like ew I don't want to talk to my man like that I don't want to feel like I have to talk to a man like that and I felt like in that moment it was very triggering for me I don't know if it's a man thing or if it's just a person to person thing I don't know I don't know if it's a me thing but I felt like in that moment I was talking down on him and it was a turn off to me and it's so crazy because in that moment I stopped myself and I looked at him and I was like oh my god I'm so sorry I did not mean to say it like that and he looked at me like he was kind of shocked and he like let it go but out in my in my heart and in my mind I was thinking like ew like mm -mm, I don't I can't do this I don't want it I don't want to be that person I don't want to feel like I have to be that person I'm tired bro like I'm tired I don't want to lead I don't want to assist in directing I don't want to I don't want to have to coach I don't want to do any of that I just want to rest I just want to rest in my, and correct me if I'm wrong, like maybe, I don't know, is that a part of being feminine, is that a part of being a woman, you know, helping assist a man in things that you feel like you should already know how to do, that's so irritating, I don't feel like it, I'm tired, I don't want to leave. I don't want to do that. I just want to rest. I just, I don't, and if not, I'd rather just be by myself. If I have to, it sounds so crazy. I don't know if I'm just, I got a lot of growing to do. I noticed that I have a, like, I still have a lot of growing to do. And so, I don't know, some people are better off by themselves. I don't know, but I feel like I have a lot of growing to do. Because that, ear. I don't, I don't want to say some people are better off by ourselves because I don't think that I'm better off by myself. I think that I would make a great partner. I think that I would be... Why am I getting emotional? I think that I would make a great partner. I think that I would make a great wife. Just because something don't work out, it just won't for you, you know? Because I found any and everything to nitpick and complain about in my head. Not to that person, but in my head. So... Just sleepy, y'all. I have like paragraphs in my head right now that I want to like blurt out, but I can't get it out. <laughs> it's like my thoughts are more intellectual than my verbiage. <laughs> it's like my thoughts are moving too fast. Y'all ever feel like that sometimes? <laughs> I also noticed that I'm a very good writer. I write better than I talk. Maybe I should write a book. I definitely could write a book. Cause life be real. I've been through a lot of shit that people don't even know about. Not even about my mom. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey. Hey. <clears throat> And, you know, we're still friends and cordial and cool. We might chat like once a week or something like that, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, after that, <laughs> after that, I went to that same day of that date, I went to a like a block party kind of sort of thing that Ugly was hosting. Um, it was, you know, they played like Afrobeats and stuff like that. We had like a really good time. That was on Memorial Day. And that night that I came home, um, I was like, I need to do something small for my birthday, at least something, because Mary came into town, so she was hanging out with us on Memorial Day, which was, which was so exciting. My camera keeps um, shutting off, but you know, Mary came into town, which was so exciting, because she's been gone for like 
a very long time for like a few weeks maybe even a month or two i can't really recall but she's been gone we have not seen our girl mary and the fact that she made it into town to spend time with me for my birthday meant a lot so i was like you know mary's back let me do something you know so i decided to do a birthday dinner and originally i was gonna have my dinner at mck and MCK is this restaurant here in Buckhead. It's a really nice restaurant. It's actually black owned. And they have really good drinks, nice food menu, ambiance is great. I love the type of people that goes there. It's like such a vibe. But unfortunately, as I had like stated a few times in the vlog, that the restaurant was not open on Monday and it doesn't open on Tuesday. So Wednesday was my actual birthday dinner and I knew I was cutting it close and I wasn't really sure if we were gonna like get like secure reservations and stuff like that so i found the backup restaurant and um it's this restaurant called knife that's also here in bucket which is literally right down the street from mck and if i had to compare it to a restaurant it would kind of remind me of like posh but i feel like we've been going to posh for these past few years now and i feel like posh can kind of be like a little overrated for sure so knife is was a great alternative they um, have hookah. You know, I thought a lot about Mary since she decided to fly home and specifically for my birthday, which I thought was really nice. Mary loves hookah, okay? If it don't got hookah, don't, don't invite her. No, I'm kidding. But no, it do be like that. But no, um, so that was kind of great because that place had hookah and their food menu was great. They, um, it's Mediterranean style, just like Basha. Mediterranean style, um, full, fulfilling place. You know, drinks were great. Amias was great. They had a DJ. It was just like a good vibe. Um, and they also had like an outside seating area. It's very small and petite, but you know, it's still, you know, good vibe. So if you're looking for an alternative restaurant, you know, that has hookah and stuff like that, um, this restaurant called Knife was like a really good place to go to. But yeah, so we had dinner. And then after dinner, I came back, dropped my flowers off. All the girlies brought me flowers. I got some red roses, white roses, pink roses. It's just so beautiful. I got a few gifts and yeah, I came and dropped all that stuff off. And then we just went out to Ace, you know. Um, um, the like block party was hosted by um, Iku and he is a part owner of Ace. So, you know, we had a good time there that night. And yeah. But yeah, anyways, that's like my little gossip moments about my um, little non-existent, non-existing dating life. Uh. You know, a trick that I found for myself to drink more water, I drink my water out of a wine glass. Ever since I've been doing that, I've been drinking and consuming much more water. That's sick. But anyways, um, <laughs> sorry, Nala. But yeah, that's that. I'm trying to think of anything else I kind of want to catch you guys up on. Not really. Everything else I don't really want to talk about right now because I'm not in the space to. But one day, I'm pretty sure I will. But yeah, that was that. I think is there anything else I want to catch you guys up on? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just gonna end this vlog. I think I just need a fresh start, and my fresh start is going to be tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here and right now. And but thank you guys for tuning in, and thank you guys for all of the birthday wishes in the DMs. I've definitely and in the comments i definitely seen them i really appreciate it um but we're about to get back into our what they say on tiktok now <laughs> y'all or on instagram everybody be like oh you gotta get on your zoom so i'm about to get in my zoom i'm about to tap into my zoom nala you are such an attention whore i'm about to tap in and get into my zoom and um your girl is going to be back posting and i'm gonna be more consistent maybe i should stop saying that and just do it that's what i'm gonna do but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here and right now and 
I'll catch y'all in the next vlog. Hopefully this weekend, actually. So, yeah. Bye. Wanna say bye now, Pooh Bear? Say bye, girl. Bye. Yeah. I wanna see all my people win, and we know that I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to sound, I speak my mind and get that all back